Top 10 Cute Animals That Can Actually Kill You We all love animals, especially the cute ones, and there are some adorable ones out there that are hard to resist. But sometimes, resistance is a must. Just because an animal looks at you with big sweet eyes doesn't mean it's safe to touch. Sometimes, cute is deadly. Here, we got 10 of the cutest but most dangerous animals. Let's see what kind of animals we're talking about. Number 1. Slow Loris These little guys are about the size of a teddy bear and look like a miniature Ewok. They can't get much cuter than that. But if by any chance you ran over one, stay far away. Slow Lorises have a venomous bite that is harmful to humans. Usually, their teeth are clipped, but if their teeth are still intact, they mix venom secreted from a gland inside their upper arm with saliva to deliver a venomous bite. This can cause anaphylactic shock and even death in humans. Saliva from the slow loris is required to activate the secretion from the arm gland. However, very little else is known about the chemical nature of the toxin. The slow loris bite is reported to be painful in humans with symptoms including burning of the tongue and throat, hypotension, muscle convulsions, heart and respiratory problems, unconsciousness, and even death through anaphylaxis shock. Number 2. Polar Bear White, fluffy, and totally deadly. Polar bears are animals we love to see at zoos. They attract humans with their white fur and black noses. However, we often forget that polar bears are hunters, which mainly get their food by eating seals, walruses, and whales. Sometimes, they even attack humans. Recent studies show that the aggression polar bears show towards humans is increasing. One of the reasons may be climate change. As it gets warmer in the Arctic regions, Polar bears may be forced to move from the coastline inland, where they may encounter more humans. They are starting to spend more time on land than on Arctic sea ice. Another reason may be that people are coming too close to the bears, which see them as a dangerous enemy. Number 3. Leopard Seal Leopard seals are almost too cute. Something about their slick skin just makes you want to reach out and touch them especially if you catch them splashing around in the water. But don't be fooled, these creatures are strictly predators. They've been known to attack researchers that get a little too close, and though one bite might not kill you, it can leave permanent damage. In 2003, a marine biologist working with the British Antarctic Survey drowned after being dragged nearly 200 feet underwater by a leopard seal. It is unclear whether the leopard seal intended to kill the biologist but the event is a sobering reminder that these animals should be treated with utmost caution. Number 4. Swan They're beautiful, elegant, and romantic. If you spot one swimming in a lake, chances are good you're gonna want to feed it, maybe even touch it, but definitely don't. Swans, like geese, do use their strong beaks to bite and pull. Their most dangerous weapon is potentially their wings. These large and powerful birds are quite capable of flicking their elbows forward to cause serious injury to a limb of a combatant, such as a fox or a coyote. But to be fair to the swans, incidents of any serious harm are very rare. And in almost all cases, such attacks are caused by folks venturing too close to nests or youngs or by misguided people feeding the birds, causing them to become tame around humans. However, it is safe to say that because of their large size and their sometimes highly aggressive nature, the behavior of a swan attack oneself just seems terrifying to most of us. Number 5. Panda these guys are so cute, it's easy to forget they're bears. It's true they stick mostly to bamboo, but that's just their diet. When threatened, they attack just like any other bear. Such injuries are possible because of the giant panda's incredible chunky skull and Mohican-like sagittal crest. This is the anchor point for a massive chewing muscle that can deliver one of the highest bite forces of any carnivore. The panda needs this impressive bite if it is to crack its way into the tough sheath of a bamboo stem. The panda also boasts an enlarged radial sesamoid bone or false thumb to get a grip as it munches, a complex suite of gut microbes to help its digestion, and a readiness to spend more than half its life collecting, preparing, and eating bamboo. Number 6. Dolphin we all picture swimming with the dolphins as this sort of magical experience that everyone should do at least once during their lifetime. But these dolphins, you see playing around and snuggling into humans, are professionally well trained. 
Dolphins have sharp teeth that they usually use to rip apart their prey. Bottlenose dolphins, for example, have between 80 to 100 teeth that they use to grab, grip, and secure their prey. However, the creatures can and do bite humans on occasion. Because of the potential danger, officials at the Commerce Department's National Marine Fisheries Service have even released flyers with warnings that dozens of bites have been reported and people have been pulled underwater by the animals. Number 7. Moose They look a little goofy, lovable, and a whole lot of cuddly, but that's on the outside. The truth about these animals is definitely the exact opposite. Although moose aren't more dangerous than bears in terms of behavior, they pose a greater threat of injuring you simply because of their population size. Moose outnumber bears nearly 3 to 1 in Alaska, wounding up 5 to 10 people in the state annually. The number of moose attacks spikes in September and October during mating season and the early spring when mothers are protecting their young calves. However, moose often do not confront people unless they are provoked. For that reason, it's important to not throw anything at moose and keep any dogs away from them. Moose especially dislike dogs because they run up and bark at them. Number 8. Kangaroo What can be so scary about a jumping furry creature that carries its baby in a pouch? Well, if you happen to be near a kangaroo, just get away from it as fast as you can. That's the advice from a wildlife expert to anyone who comes face to face with a kangaroo. Kangaroos live in a large family groups called mobs. During courtship, the males will fight for ownership of the female. They will kick, bite, box with their front feet and exhibit other aggressive behaviors toward each other. If we insert ourselves into the mix, they can be as aggressive with us as any other threat. Number 9. Raccoon the cuteness of raccoons is often the catalyst for an attack. They look like an exotic pet. They can even behave like a pet. If you feed them, they may come near and take food right from your fingertips without harming you at all. But it's not wise to ever feed raccoons. Wild animals are unpredictable, so if a raccoon feels threatened, it will attack. They have sharp teeth and claws, and the strength to inflict significant harm. There are many accounts of children, adults, being disfigured by raccoon attacks. They are also known to inflict wounds on dogs and cats, especially at night. Number 10. Wolf Dogs and wolves share a common ancestor, and like their relatives, wolves won't attack humans unless provoked. As a matter of fact, wolves generally work hard to avoid humans. However, because of their sharp fangs and potential to carry rabies, wolves do have the potential to kill whatever they attack, and so it's best to not get too close to them. Another factor associated with wolf attack is habituation, losing fear of humans. Habituation can occur when wolves are fed by people or within some protected areas. Wolf attacks have occurred when wolves are provoked, as mentioned before, such as when humans trapped or cornered them or entered a den with pups. Attacks are also associated with highly modified environments, for example, when there is little to no natural prey and when wolves are dependent on human food sources.